हाय माय नेम इज रमन और मैं आप स्वागत करता हूँ आप सभी लोगों का मेरे इस यूट्यूब के चैनल पे सो so, आज हम सोलर एज स्ट्रिंग डिजाइनिंग टूल से स्ट्रिंग को कैसे डिजाइन कर सकते हैं किसी भी पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट के लिए उसके लिए इस वीडियो में हम आपको पूरा नॉलेज देंगे स्टेप बाई स्टेप हम कैसे करते हैं कैसे स्ट्रिंग डिजाइनिंग करेंगे कैसे किसी प्रोजेक्ट को सोलर एज के टूल पर डिजाइन करके उसकी स्ट्रिंगिंग निकाल के उसकी कॉस्टिंग कैसे निकाली जा सकती है वो हम सीखेंगे बने रहिए इस चैनल पे मिलते हैं we will have a designing option there so basically when i will click on this i have this designing option so i will click on this designer once you will click on this you will have a page where you have to log in your id and password so i have already entered my password so i will simply log in once you will log in on uh, log in on your portal so you will have this plus symbol so basically you have to go to the basic point so i will click on basics so this tab is basically to have the all the information about your project what is your project information which module you want to use according to that this portal will create your string design so basically i will start from my basic information i will fill all this project information so let's say my project name is abc so i will simply mention abc and the location of the project where i want to install this project so let's say i want to install this project at delhi so i will simply mention new delhi is my project location so once i will enter on this automatically this software will take the weather station so this will take a weather station new delhi 10.04 km apart from that if you will see uh, you can also fill your customer's name company name and other information if you have then you can fill otherwise it's not mandatory uh, for the designing so if you going for the initial designing then you can fill only these points where you want to install your project and what is your project name and if you have the customer details also you can fill so basically i have that so i can mention my name is raman let's say if i am a customer then kumar and let's say my company name is xyz after that you have to uh, select whether this project is residential project or commercial project so you can select accordingly if you know the consumption value then you can also put it there consumption profile if you know then you can put it here and if you know the grid connection whether it is a single phase or three phase that you can also you know uh, scroll down and you can select select these values from here also after that you have to select the power factor value if you know if there is an industry then definitely you have you have, you should know what is the power value you can limit your export values and all but if you don't have these values then it's not a challenge it's not a problem to design your string so basically uh, for basic designing you have to enter your project name and address that's it after that we will come to the second point that is pb module so in this section we have to uh, select the modules that we want to you know uh, install at our site so if i talk about let's say if i am planning to install a project with canadian solar 330 watt 330 watt peak or let's say 400 watt peak so i will simply mention canadian solar canadian solar so from here i if i go to the next point then there is a model number so one thing i want to you know uh, tell you all guys if your module is not available in the list so most of the inverter manufacturers are there in this list but if still you are not able to find your inverter manufacturer then you can add also so there is an option so that is called can't find your module so if you don't have that module manufacturer name then you can also add that so this is an advanced thing if uh, you can add your module if it is not there after that i will come to the next point so it is a basically model number so i want to let's say i want to install 450 watt peak canadian panel so i will simply select 450 watt peak again 
the same option is here also if you are not able to find the model number exactly that you want to install so that you can also add from this option can't find your module so you can add from here also after that if you will see uh, the number of modules or you can fill the dc power so whatever you know about your site you can enter so simply i will go for that i i just want to install 30 panels of 450 watt peak so i will simply uh, type 30 modules after that you can uh, after that you will see uh, there is a flush mount tilted and dual tilted so if installation type you know then you can definitely select so in my case if my project is tilted then i will click on tilted and then i will enter the azimuth angle if i know and what tilt angle i want for this particular site so for delhi basically i will consider 25 degrees so i will mention 25 here after that you will see uh, there is a column plus add pv array so basically at a site, if you have different, different uh, like voltage of panels, so you can add that also. So this is for if you have, let's say two, two companies panels, let's say if you have Canadian solar and renewables modules also at the same site, so that you can also, you know, add. After that, simply we have to click on this calculate button. So this calculate button will do automatically calculation and this entire process basically having automatic string designing. So you can change also. It's not a manual. Automatically, the software will calculate what inverter and what optimizer should be as per the uh, module number of module and the capacity. So I will see the uh, this designing tool has selected 12.5 kilowatt inverter. But if this inverter is not available in the market, or if you don't have this one, you can select another inverter if uh, whatever you have. So in my case. I have 17 kilowatt inverter, so simply I will select 17 kilowatt. After selecting this, uh, there is another option, select power optimizer. So this power optimizer also you can select accordingly. So if you want to go with one ratio one optimizer, then you can select P505. If you want to go with two ratio one, then you can select P950. So basically I have selected P950 because this optimizer we can install on two modules for one optimizer. So it is a two ratio one optimizer. So uh, if I talk about commercial background, then this optimizer is, you know, economical. So for uh, for this project, I will go with P950 watt peak. So basically this 950 watt denotes. So the panel you can select and the sum of two panels should not be more than 950 watt peak. So this 950 indicates that the modules that you are going to use and the power sum of these two modules should not be exceeding this 950 watt peak value. So I am using this 450 watt peak, the 450 plus 450, this will be 900 watt peak only. And I am selecting this optimizer P950, then there is no challenge. And if you will see the, uh, here it is mentioned auto stringing. So this is auto stringing. So we have to use one string of 15 optimizer. It means we, uh, we will use 13 parallel string. After using this tool, simply we have to save and close this. And after doing this, you can see your project report also. So it will take one or two minutes. And if you will go to this, you know, summary and reports option. So we will have this entire designing, like which inverter we have selected, which optimizer we have selected, what would be the string sizing, how we can design this, what is my array design, how should I, connect these all inverters, how I have to connect this optimizer. So every detailing you will have in this. So it will take one or two minutes to create the report exactly. So this report is loading actually, and uh, now 100% loading this report. So basically if you will see, so ABC is the project name, the location of the project is New Delhi and the customer name is Raman Kumar. This report is generated on 6th September 2021. After that, you will see this is my installation basically. So it's a it's a normal picture like tilt, tilt angle is accordingly 25 degree that I have mentioned in the report. If you will see the system overview, so basically my modules were 30 numbers. So PV system is 30 number. There is one micro, in, uh, there is one inverter that I have selected and 15 optimizer. Simulation report, if you will see, so installed DC capacity is 13.5 kilowatt. So basically, if you will multiply 30 multiplied by 450 watt peak, so you will get this 13.5 kilowatt DC side. 
मैक्सिमम अचीव्ड एसी पावर वुड बी आल्सो 13.5 किलोवाट एनुअल प्रोडक्शन व्हाट आई विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस प्लांट इज 24.05 मेगावाट आवर व्हाट सीओ2 आई हैव सेव्ड इज आल्सो गिवन हियर इक्विवेलेंट 3 आल्सो सो आफ्टर दैट वंस यू विल गो टू द एस्टीमेटेड मंथली एनर्जी जनरेशन देन यू कैन सी कि इन व्हिच मंथ व्हाट एनर्जी आई विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस प्लांट after that if you will come to this bgm part so you will see the pv module so basically module is 30 number of modules canadian 450 watt peak module peak power is 13.5 kilowatt and azimuth angle is true south that is 180 degree and tilt angle is 25 so this is the basic information of module and if you will come to this bus part so this is an important part so while we are designing a project so we have to focus on this bus part actually so as per my expectation or as per my feeding we have to cross check whether this report is generated as per my uh, uh, designing or not so basically i have selected a 17 kilowatt single inverter so the quantity of inverter is 1 and the model number is 17 so this is okay and after coming to the next point my optimizer is p950 that i have selected and the number of optimizer is 15 because my panels are 30 numbers so this optimizer is 2 ratio 1 so after cross checking this points bum material so if this is okay as per my site then we can go ahead with this project and this is the electrical design so basically one cross means one is a sing, single inverter of 13 point this over this is 79 is the overloading percentage of the inverter let's say if you overload your system let's say 20% 30% and then this value will be 120 or 130 accordingly and this is your string designing basically so number of string is 1 optimizer is 15 cross 950 ka one of string and the total number of you, if you will see pv modules per string is 30 so i have used all these 30 opti panels in a one string this is loss diagram so you can see here what is the loss factors what is the loss diagram here and after that what is the near shading and everything you can see with this report after clicking this simply you have to save your project you have to save your uh, like this report so i will save this save as pdf and you can save this at a desktop like i will save here so if you will see on my desktop i have this abc abc like report so this is so this is basically uh, the designing that we get automatically from the solar is designing tool there is another challenge so basically uh, in solar age if you will see so basically we have to use 14 optimizer this is the minimum criteria so if i talk, talk about uh, let's say if i have modules of like let's say 44 modules or 45 modules so what will happen in this case we are not able to make one string of 44 panels if i split into two parts then minimum i have to you know use 27 modules or minimum 14 optimizer so i can't make the another string also so if you are facing such kind of like problem so i will i will explain you how you can do this so i am considering another project so i with 44 modules so that i can uh, uh, i can tell you all guys ki how you can uh, manually connect your strings how you can manually design your string so again i will click on this plus symbol and go to the basic option so now this time i will change my project name so now my my project name would be a b c and 1 i can't have the same name for the multiple project so again my site is new delhi so i will select new delhi new delhi same same thing i will select again i can select this raman kumar now i will come to the same point so canadian solar i want to use 450 watt peak modules but in this case i don't want to use 20 i just want to use 45 panels so it's a 20.25 kilowatt now i will go to this manual calculation so you will see you will see what will happen here uh, it's automatically selected 17 kilowatt in water and optimizer is p950 but if you will go to your uh, string so there is one string of uh, 17 optimizers p950 and one optimizer it means 17 cross 2 it means 34 plus 1 only 35 panels we can connect in this condition so i simply you know what i will do save and close i will do save and close 
and if you will see this report so in this report you will see there is an error code basically and this error code shows that uh, 10 number of modules are not connected like this so if you will see this report uh, it will take one minute so here is an warning so if any report you are generating from this portal and if you are getting any notification then be careful and resolve this why this problem is happening here so warning what is the warning 10 pb modules are not wired they are ignored in this report so in this case what we have to do if we are not able to connect all these optimizers all these panels uh, by manual calculation then uh, by automatic calculation then we have to go for the manual calculation so in this case what will happen we will go to the electrical design actually so now i will go to this electrical design and uh, i will select this inverter and i will erase all these previous uh, like stringing now what i will do i will select p 952 ratio one optimizer and there is two option one is a string and second one is auto stringing so if i click on this auto stringing so automatically this will collect this will uh, consider 35 panels only but if i am not able to uh, connect all these panels then i will go to this manual stringing i will click on a string and i will simply uh, press my control and i will drag my mouse you will see uh, this red will automatically be green once my string length will be as per this solar is designing so as i previously told you the minimum you we have to use 14 optimizer so it's a 13 and now it's a 14 optimizer so automatically this is now green and uh, simply uh, i have to click on escape i will simply escape this again i will select this inverter and i will select another optimizer because i don't have 28 modules uh, so i can't go with this two ratio one now i have to select one ratio one optimizer so that uh, i can select from this list only so i can select p505 and again i will start i will click on this string and i will start making a string from this also so if you will see now i will click on escape if there is any problem then this problem will indicate here as there is no problem then normally i will go to this summary and reports in previous report there was one notification that 10 modules are not wired as i have calculated manually and i have connected all the panels with the inverter then there is no burning and now if you will come to this bm part so you will see there is 117 kilowatt inverter 14 optimizer of p 950 watt peak 17 optimizer of p 505 and there is 45 panels of canadian 450 watt peak this is your string designing so 117 kilowatt inverter total capacity is 20.25 kilowatt and the overloading or the loading percentage is 119 percent if you will see there is two string one string is with p505 so basically we have to install 17 optimizers of p505 watt pick and for the second string we have to use 14 optimizers of p950 watt pick so this is the string designing so we can go with this only so this is how we can calculate the string designing in a solar is uh, system so uh, friends i will suggest to go with only this tool uh, for calculating the string designing because it is difficult to understand manually how we can calculate this still we can do this manually also but uh, for your convenience you can go with this tool and uh, as i have already explained you how you can uh, work on this so you can calculate your project also and if there is any problem you can write me you can message me you can comment on this uh, chat box you can comment i will definitely reply you there thank you so much so thanks for watching this video hope you information aap logo ko achhi lagi hogi and in future is tarike se solar se related information janne ke liye hamare channels ko subscribe kare like kare agar ye aapko video acha laga Thank you so much.